Hey, thanks for watching Rewrite Exercise. Today I'm going to be going through one of the side projects I've been working on recently, which is playing with Gatsby and WordPress, and specifically using WordPress as a backend for a Gatsby website. I've been playing around with Gatsby. Uh, this is the site I'm, I'm working on that currently exists as a WordPress website. I maintain this right now. Um, and I'm trying to get this hooked up with Gatsby. I've got something working locally so far, and um, now I'm playing with some of the data sources and pulling the data in with GraphQL and um, converting some of these WordPress templates into uh, Gatsby templates. So for instance, this is a specific blog post page, and uh, today, I'm going to be focusing on getting this blog post page um, to display in Gatsby, essentially. And basically having my Gatsby site blog post page look like this one. So um, let's go through the workflow that I have here, which is jumping into the folder where I have my Gatsby site. And I made a little bit of progress. I have like kind of the basics down. I followed the Gatsby tutorial for getting WordPress up and running as a backend. And um, let's see, I have a Gatsby develop command. I also use this Gatsby concurrent download 50. So um, without this, there was some sort of issue that was causing this command to go on forever. But basically running this command gets um, all the config that I have for Gatsby, which basically points to this Topaz and Sapphire. It says, here's the WordPress site. And then using the WordPress JSON, uh, WP JSON REST API, it gets all the information that it needs. So it's gonna get like uh, all the image locations and the title of the blog and the title of the blog posts, the authors, the categories, everything it needs. And then it's going to pull that into um, essentially a GraphQL backend and then allow me to make GraphQL queries uh, on each of the pages that I have. So right now I have this uh, open in Visual Studio Code and I'm kind of taking pieces from the WordPress theme that we're using and then plugging it in here into React components or React templates, stuff like that. Um, so right now I have this index, <clears throat> most of, uh, my logic, a lot of this is just straight up copy pasted and then I'm kind of cleaning it up as I go, but a lot, a lot of the styling and, uh, a lot of the layout is in this layout component. So this is for the main page and then you can see a lot of it in here. Um, so this will have the header, the posts, all my posts in here, the Instagram feed, the sidebar, and then I have to update this footer. So there are a lot of updates to be made. Let's see if this is finished here yet. This takes a little bit to start. Okay, so now it's all started up. And now that it's started, like it says here, I can access these two links. First is this localhost port 8000. That's where my, my quote unquote blog is actually running. And then here's this localhost 8,000, uh, like three or four underscores and then GraphQL. So if we jump over to Firefox, now we can see this is where the version of the blog that I have is running. And there's definitely a lot to be done here, but it, it kind of resembles the blog that we're working on here, right? So we've got that. Uh, and then here is the GraphQL. So this is where I'll be making any sort of queries if I want to add queries to new pages, um, which I just may with the post page that I'm going to be making. So like if I wanted to test out this query, this would display whatever the query asks it to display. Um, and, and this is the graphical UI. So it's got like a nice, um, UI over here where I can like make these selections. If I wanted to add something to this node where it's got the file, 
I could add height and width, right? And so just instantly add it here in the query. And then I could execute this and it would show that here. Uh, and then from here, I like I could just copy and paste this into one of the Gatsby files that I'm using. So here, like you can see, this one doesn't have one. Let's see one where I do index should have one. You can see a GraphQL query that's happening in here. And this is something that I can post in the graphical UI here, uh, just by selecting the stuff that I wanted, sorting the way that I wanted it to, so on and so forth. So now what I want here is I want to look at the individual post page. So this is the post page and generally the process that I've been following is kind of a smattering of or a combination of two different uh, approaches. One is to look at the actual WordPress theme files and uh, sometimes these are really helpful. So like for the index page, I could see what HTML it's it's popping out. What can get complicated about this is I'm not really great with WordPress at the moment. Uh, so like I have to refresh my memory about what this get header function is going to be spitting out and what this get template part is going to be spitting out and sidebar and footer and all this stuff. And so doing this can be a little bit cumbersome. That's why I do a little bit of a combo with honestly just looking straight up in the console. And if I see like a, a section here that I want to recreate, then I'll just inspect it. We don't need the, the actual console. We can just look at the inspector and sometimes I just directly copy and paste. Like I just start as simple as possible and I copy and paste maybe this whole outer HTML and then I'll paste it in and kind of whittle it down once I get into my, uh, my actual Gatsby and react component that I have here. So this, this one is kind of done nicely. It's, it's putting in dynamic data, but then if you go to the Instagram feed, I've kind of just hacked things in and just, you can see these classes. Like I, I wouldn't actually want these classes probably, um, or for the sidebar, there's like all, all this garbage that I need to clean up and it'll get there eventually like this, these names, I don't want those for sure. So, um, I'm kind of following that process. Just start by copying and pasting a certain bit of HTML from this, from the site. And then I use the WordPress theme as, um, as a tool to help me understand how my Gatsby template should be and then kind of concoct it from there. So this is how I'm going about basically converting a WordPress site to a Gatsby site. So now that I'm working on this individual individual post page, um, let's see what we can get here. Um, let's see if I can find a, a, a WordPress theme file that contains some of these things. So like this one would be blog post. Uh, so there's post and blog post. So if I search for this one, I could actually just grab for this blog post. So this one actually looks like it could be good. This content.php. I think that might be what I want. Um, if I pass L here, then it will just tell me the files that it's found in. And I actually, in this instance, I really just care about the WordPress themes thing. So I could do that. Um, but let's see the content file. Let's open this guy up. And then here I can kind of get an idea of pretty good idea. Actually, I still have this, this PHP code. That's like kind of interspersed. Um, but I can get an understanding of what my react component should look like in my Gatsby theme. Um, 
so I'll probably again just start out by copy pasting HTML directly from here and then after that I can once I make it more dynamic I can look back at this uh, content.php page and I can see how I should be making my Gatsby page more dynamic. So let me go ahead and do that. I guess this is going to start with article. Let's see if it closes this whole thing with article. It does. So I can really just look for this article here, this article tag in my HTML page, which I've got already. So I can just copy this outer HTML. And then I'm going to find a file here that I care about. And I actually already have one open. I think it's this blog post. This guy. Let's see where this shows up. Okay, so it's in templates. So this, this blog post is something that was created with the Gatsby WordPress uh, or Gatsby blog template. So this was, this was given to me and this, I kind of got this for free. There's really not much here. Uh, it does do this layout thing. And then aside from that, it drops in the post title and then the post content. But let's say, so I, I will want to make sure that the layout is giving me what I want. I haven't been very particular about that aside from, um, let's close this out. I've basically just been crafting layout to be what I want it to be for this index page, right? So if I'm here, then all I've really cared about is making this index page look nicely uh, and matching this up with my blog. And so what I'll want to do now is start to think a little more about what layout should be in terms of the blog post and in terms of other pages that are on the blog. But let's look at the blog post now. And I'll just do this, this raw thing that I've been doing, which is just dropping the HTML in here. It's going to take me a second to clean this up. And this is kind of some tedium that I have to get through here, which I'll, I'll skip through for the sake of the video. But um, there are some tags that need to be adjusted so they fit into React. Uh, I need to update the styles some places. So like if there's a style tag, right, this, this isn't going to fly in JSX. I'm going to have to convert this to, I'll just do this one. So this is going to be like height. And then here, this is going to be a string. And this is, I, I basically just need to convert this to a style object. So we'll close it out with double brackets. And then that will be like that. Let's say I save this, then it will format it. All right, so I'll need to look for all cases of style where that's going to happen. So I need to change that one. Whoops. I'll need to change this instance of style right there missed it. Um, and then there are some places where I need to fix the tags. So um, for like an image, a lot of times there's in, in the theme that I have, let's find one here. I need to close out the image right here. Boom. And then it gets rid of some of the issues. And there are a couple others. Oh, also this A. Uh, I've been changing these to links. So with Gatsby, at least in this template, there is a link component, which basically makes your website or app or blog uh, behave more like a single page app. So it's like a really quick page change. And I can show that here. Oh, maybe I can't. Let's do if that's going to break things then I'll just remove that all of that. So I can show you something. So let's save this again. So it works and I'll reload. So now you can see um, if I'm in my WordPress page and I go to a different page, then it's going to load for a sec and it'll take a while and I'll go out and get a drink of water, come back and then it's loaded. And here with Gatsby, as long as I'm using that link component that I mentioned, let's see if this 
So there's a 404 there. Let's see what we can do if there's a category 404 as well. Okay, let's do a post. So if I click this, boom, it's like instant. So like you don't see any sort of loading. Okay, so now that I've got that explained, let's uh, start to look back at these changes that we can make. So I mentioned I would change the style, uh, image tags, and there are a couple others that I'll need to change. Uh, also mentioned link as well. So I'll, I'll breeze through those things, make sure this looks good, and then uh, we can continue from there. So I do also have to remove HTML comments and also JavaScript code. So like scripts that are embedded in here. And uh, I'll be replacing those things later. Like when I go back and figure out how to make everything more dynamic, then uh, I'll deal with that. But for right now, I just do basically um, like I replace it right there. So um, I will just make sure that it works with this HTML. Let's see if we have any more errors here. Doesn't look like we do. So now if I save all that, formats it nicely. Probably a lot of broken stuff. But um, the HTML is at least valid, it seems. So uh, let's see if it's rendering stuff properly. So there's an issue in here. Um, ah, another style one. So I gotta make sure that I fix all that. Hey, so check that out. Finally, I realized that I can work smarter and not harder. And I just straight up found this HTML to JSX compiler. And so now I don't have to do all of that manual style work. Uh, what I will do is I'll change these these a links, these a tags to link tags. Um, and then over time, I will take all of these hard coded things and change them to dynamically loaded in stuff. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to do that by having a GraphQL query and making sure that I am getting the stuff that I need in here. And then once I have all the data that I need in this query, then I'll start to load it into the actual UI itself and then make it dynamic from there. But for now, I have something working uh, thanks to this HTML to JSX compiler. And I have it a little bit better than what it was before. This is all the dynamic stuff at the top, which I can remove now. And then um, this is kind of how it should look at the bottom. I need to do a lot more sprucing up. But um, once I do that, then I'll be on my way to having this post in Gatsby. So I'm going to keep working from there, but uh, this is the workflow that I've been using. And hopefully uh, I can get some comments from you guys and you can tell me how you're doing Gatsby site conversions or what other things I'm missing besides uh, just that HTML to JSS, JSX conversion. Hopefully you can share some tips with me of what I'm doing that's stupid or things that I'm missing. But uh, that's it for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's been helpful and uh, hopefully I can learn something tomorrow.